Joseph Gaza been shown. It's look, everything looks very densely populated. You're telling me that there's what, lots of open Monaco's land? More densely not lots, but there are. But, there are. but again, again, so it, it still doesn't excuse. Right. It's not an excuse. So the During the war, many of my friends from Gaza sent me the videos of rockets being launched from their right. houses, literally from their okay. houses. Okay, listen, listen to me, listen to me. They don't have a military. They don't have designated, hold on a second, they don't have designated military compounds right, in Gaza. Hamas, Do they? Do they? Do they have? Do they have those That's things? That's why I support Palestinian people, not the Hamas. Do they That's have? Why I'm saying you try to defend let Hamas. Me let me ask you. No, no, but no, 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 no. You do. I'm let me you let me ask you the question. Do they have military bases in Gaza? No, they have underground bases. Under United they Nations. Under tunnels. United Nations. Is it a legitimate right of a people who are occupied with an occupied force to use force to uh, to to uh, relieve the occupation? Under United Nations. If so, every terrorist attack would be justified. I'm not it's saying not. that. You just answer the question. Answer the question. Even UNRWA. Please them, answer the question. But again, that's a false Does, question. Uh, do, do a people. You base your question no, 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 on no. false assumptions. No, no, but it's not an actual question. It's, but the, it is a question. It's like a racist person will no. come to you and say, why Islam supports terrorism? It's the claim. The I, question is based on false no, assumptions. No, it's not. No, it's not. You, you do the same no, it's not. to what people are doing to your religion. Do, 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 do give you an do, example. Do, no, uh, Joseph, I want to no, hold well, him on that. I want to hold you on that. Under the United Nations, a people that are occupied have the right to military defense against the occupier, so and to evict the occupier. So you justify the existence of Hamas as an illegitimate not, no, terrorism? No, no. I'm no. giving you the definition. Do you agree with that definition or not? Never seen it on the UN. Please show me. Do you agree with it? Show me that. Oh, so now you want me to show you the definition? Yeah, I, I don't, I don't okay. believe to your definition okay, of the so UN. Okay, if it exists, would, if it exists would you accept it? If it exists? Yeah. Terrorism is a proven tool. All right, let me ask wait, you, wait, wait, personally. Like, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, terrorism and also, as a matter of fact, terrorism is a proven tool, yes. right, to kick foreign powers out. We can both agree about it, right? Yes. The British, they left Israel, Palestine, British yes. mandatory Palestine, yes. according to their papers, because of Jewish terrorism, right? Yes. King the David Pal Hotel, I think, was it? Yeah. One of them. Yes. The Palestinians, they see mm. Jews as foreigners. They see us as if, let's say, we're the French in Algeria or the British in, in India, mm. right? And they truly believe that if terrorism, if they use terrorism, we'll be out. But from the other side, as Jews, we don't see ourselves as foreigners, and we, we we just came back home. We have no other home to go to. And when they use this tool, right, to kick foreigners out against indigenous people, okay. the reaction will not be a reaction of British in mandatory Palestine, right, or French in Algeria. The reaction will be a reaction of indigenous people who are fighting for their existence. So obviously, first of all, they're trying to do whatever they can do to minimize the the damage, right? I'm against any killing of any civilian. I live with Palestinians most of my life. Some of my best friends are Palestinians. I know it's, it's not like saying I have a black friend, it's truly friendship. We disagree about lots of things, but to me it's family. I always say it, always, always say it. Right? It's like a mother and father or kids in the house. They don't have to agree about anything, 100%, right? They can argue, you, you have a wife? Yes. You can fight with your wife, your kids can fight with each other, right? Cousins can fight, they can even touch each, each other. But you live in the same house, you don't split it into two parts, right? Wait. So. You don't split the house into two parts. You don't Brother, kick the other side. Please make your point quickly, because you're, you're sort of it's turning into a bar mitzvah speech. Yeah, but okay. it's funny. But okay. again, the, the point, the, point, the, point, the, point. The, the, the question I asked I'll you. I'll just finish my point. And please, the if you, if you. So I'm saying you don't kick anyone from your house, right. and you're certainly not involving the neighbors, 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 in your conflict, because whatever you guys are doing is just to divide the populations. Who? You bring us farther away, who, who foreigners. You're a Palestinian. No. Exactly. That's a ridiculous argument. Well, you, I can't believe that. I can't argument. believe that you're even making this argument. Have you ever been to this place? No, no. Okay. Have you haven't talked to the Please, people? Please, you've said a whole lot of stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that rather than just put a little question at the end and then hope that that will all be forgotten because I won't forget that. You, as an individual, if you perceive that this is your land that you've been living here for centuries and centuries and I centuries, I said it's my land. Please. I said I have the right to live in my homeland. I'm just giving you a principle. Forget yeah, homeland. In my mouth. Forget homeland. Forget Jew. Forget anything. Well, I can't. That's a I'm, I'm giving you as a human being. You have lived in this land like the Palestinian lived there for centuries and centuries and centuries. Okay. Somebody else comes. They take your home. They take your some land. For centuries, Do some you for have the right to fight against that? against that, uh, you know, uh, against that taking or stealing of your land or of your home. Do you have the right? So now, so now all the Jews who are expelled from the Arab countries are Do you have a right to fight? So I'm saying, all right, I'm saying, I'll, I'll, all right, I'll answer with a question. So the Jews who were kicked from Iraq, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, Yemen, uh, from literally every place in the Arab world and also from Europe, can they go now and kill local, local population 
Okay, right? I'll as deal with that. I'll like, deal with that. Let's say, let's say, I'll deal. Jew, there was a Jew here, right, who was born okay. in Iraq. We talked yeah. to him earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Can you now go and, and stab a random Iraqi person because his family were expelled or slaughtered in the Farhud by the Arabs, by the Iraqis? Can you do it? Is it legitimate to you? Because if so, so okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a false analogy. How? And I'll tell you why it's a false analogy. You're comparing somebody who's living on the land, whose house is stolen, they're still on that land, fighting to get their house back, fighting to get their land back, and you're equating that to an eviction where the person has now lived somewhere else and they want to go back and now kill that person. Okay, so all the no, 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 hold on a second. So, 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 so let me ask you the question again. Let me ask you the question again without it becoming another question. If you are living in a land for centuries and centuries, and somebody then comes and takes your house and they take your land by force. You the Do Jewish you story. have the right to fight against that? Against that? Yes or no? You describe the Jewish story. Do you have the right to fight? Yes or no? It depends on what case. In what case? I would say yes. You do have the right. So you kill random people in the street. No, I didn't say them. that. You see, now this is now this. So what kind of is, it, This is you trying to make an emotive argument. No, I'm saying that's the. That's I didn't the say that. That's the I didn't say that. I say that you have to live by the principle of Islam as Muslims and the Christians who are Christian Palestinians and the Jews, Jewish Palestinians Which should Jewish live by the... I no, 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 again, false assumption. Oh, Jewish, there, not, there were no Jews living in Palestine My before? My family lived there, but they were not Jewish Palestinians as part of Palestinian nationalism. So, so, they so, lived under the British mandate. That's yeah, false. Okay. So, I'll just show so you something when, interesting. So, wait, wait. No, no, again. Man, what they want, yeah, so exactly. They want to call Palestinians. Exactly. Yeah, but exactly. Not, they know that. They exactly. Palestinians. Exactly. Their nationality anyway, is not Palestinian. Anyway, but let's go, let's go back to my... So, so my... So, my family, again. I, okay. Anyway. No, that's false. You know, yeah, you know our, this, this, is, this, is, this is the problem what's when we had these discussions. Can you read what's written on this coin? This is what... Can you read what's written on this coin? I haven't got my glasses. Bil-Arabi, Palestine. In English, it says Palestine. And in Hebrew, it says Palestine. I mean, yeah, I anyway, 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 so you... Yeah, so, and I use my Palestinian for Hayati and Abashri. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Brother. Wait, and in Hebrew it says, wait, 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 so just let me finish my point. No, no, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was making my point. I was saying, in Hebrew I, I was it says actually making my point. Israel. They were not Palestinian Jews. Most of the terms referring to the term Palestine pre-1948 were Jewish. Palestine Airways, Palestine Orchestra, Palestine Post, the newspaper. Yes. yes. The soccer yeah. team of Palestine. So, Palestine so there were no Jews living Jewish. in Palestine, is that right? I'm literally okay. saying they were. Oh, only 3%. I'm literally okay. saying they were. 3%, right. But it's not part of the modern okay. Palestinian Okay, anyway, what worries me about this sort of discussion? You know, what? I'll tell you what worries me about this discussion. Is that a people that suffered so much at the hands of oppression, of having their lives taken from them, their homes taken from them, their possessions taken from them, okay? And being treated like scum, treated like dirt. A deplorable, disgusting, despicable action by Hitler. Let's exaggerate more. But... Horrible. And yet they justify the subjugation, the oppression, the theft of, a, of, a, of, a, of an innocent people you know, you said Hitler, but uh, who, have, who have no army, no air force, Right, no navy. You know, another question I'd like to ask you yeah, is that you talk about these rockets, yes? Uh, not only rockets. You, no, 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 okay. You, you mentioned you were how, very how big are these Hitler. rockets? How big Can are these you, rockets? How big? Yes. A, around the, the size of this guy, just taller a bit. Yeah, so six foot, eight foot tall rockets, yeah? Probably more. And some, so probably 10 foot, 12, 15 foot rockets, yes? They, they fired from the back of these trucks, yes? Some yes, some yes, OK. <laughs> let, me, let, let, let me ask you, let me, no, let me ask you a question, yeah? Is 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 Israel? Brother, I just have I just I just have one question. Then you can come in, right? I just have one question. Yes, Palestine is one of the most secure areas in the world by Israeli intelligence, army, air force, navy. What about the Egyptian? No, no. Agreed or not? Agreed or not? Agreed. Nothing gets in or out. Nothing gets in and out without. What part of Palestine you mean? Not nothing really gets in and out unless the Israelis allow it. Wait, you mean Gaza? You mean the West Bank? You mean the rest of Israel? Yes. Israel controls the sea, the air, Gaza, or satellite, what? everything around that area is controlled. So you're talking about the whole Israel? The whole of Israel, including Gaza. All right. Agreed? Yep, yes. How do these thousands of rockets find their way into Gaza every year? They're, be being, they're being built. How? how? By people. By the people. They're being built. Where do the materials come from Tunnels. to build the rockets? Unfortunately, Israel. Unfortunately. Huh? From Israel. <laughs> From Israel. No, 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 no. So Israel is giving them Israel no. is giving them the materials. So wait, listen before you laugh like little kids. But Israel for years, for lots of years, have been sending to Gaza almost every day trucks with medical equipment, with medals, 
with building materials to build bomb shelters, to build houses, to fix many stuff. And they're using it for wrong purposes. And like the Palestinian the people are so sophisticated. Hamas, Palestinians. Hamas. Hamas is so sophisticated with, with household goods. They're able to make rockets they that can fly. Whole, they built a whole terror tunnel under Gaza. Right, fly 50 miles, 60 miles, 100 miles into Israel, they, yes? They built a whole terror tunnel yes. system under yes. Gaza. Yes. I believe they're sophisticated enough. And to Israel can't control this, yes? They do, that's why they bomb it. You know, they cannot you know, enter physically. You, you know why, you know the why they have rockets in Palestine? Because the Israelis allow them to have those rockets. And you know why they allow them to have those rockets? So when they fire 4,000 of them, or 5,000 of them, or 4,500, like the brother here said, yes? Yeah, yeah. And one house gets damaged in, in Israel. Now they go to the international community. And they say, oh, we poor Israelis, we are under attack from these savage Palestinian people. Again, minimize Israeli and then they go the and they here. destroy 18,000 homes of the Palestinians. All it's right, very so clever. Very, very clever where, tactics. Where, where this number of okay. 18,000 came from? Again, you put... You I would, I would, if I'm lying, please, to the camera, I say it to the camera. Your whole audience it was is either, your, is, it, it's your it, audience. No, 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 your, this is your audience here, right? Yes. That's a camera versus Wait, he's filming. He's filming, right? Yeah. If I'm lying, no, by no, all no. means, underneath, to the video, underneath, worry, put yeah, the sure. caption underneath that this, he, this guy, Abbas, he lied. It was either Operation Cast Lead or Protective Edge that they destroyed. 18,000 Palestinian homes. If I'm lying, you brothers do the statistics. And if I'm wrong, correct me. If I've made a mistake, I'll, I'm happy to retract it. Okay? Now, the, the, point, the point here is what I find, being disrespectful is not what funny. I find, what I find deplorable, brother, brother, one, se brother, one second. What I find deplorable is that a people that have truly suffered so much would stand by at the suffering of somebody else. You know, I like, I like, I like many Jews who are, ve who are, who are, who are, who are great activists for, for truth. Which truth? Me Professor, Professor Norman Finkelstein. Again, Jews who say things that fits your narrative. No. From the other side, no. there are, again, I'll let you an example that I disagree with. But for example, there's a Palestinian guy who was born in Khan Yunus. He moved to Israel and he's being he's being seen sometimes actually a few years ago, right in Israeli media, only two media. I can't actually. hear you actually. There was a Palestinian guy who was born. Wait, guys, guys, can you be quiet? Uh, no, too too loud. Yeah. There was a Palestinian guy. An example. I'll, I'll compare it to what you just said. There are Palestinians who joined the IDF, for example, supporting Israel. It's irrelevant. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. No, it's irrelevant. I'm comparing it because it's, irrelevant. it's like me taking an Arab Israeli who says things that no, nice it's irrelevant. To hear. I'll tell you why it's irrelevant. Of course it is. Relevant. I'll tell you why it's irrelevant. You hate. I'll explain to you why that's irrelevant. You disagree. I will explain you disagree to you. Jews just because they support Zionism no. and ideology. No, no, no. no. I don't go by numbers. I don't go by numbers, and I don't go. I don't go by the fact that they agree with me. That's you go why by I, numbers when I tell you what I go America. with. Yeah. And what you should go with. Sure. And what every fair-minded person should go with. Go with the evidence. Right? What is the evidence? And on the merit of that evidence, brothers, please, brothers, on the merit of that evidence, you make your judgment. How many Palestinians now, let me were explain killed to you. by let me, let, me, let me explain to you. Let me explain something to you. Watch the debate between uh, Alan Dershowitz, who is a Zionist. He's not a Zionist. He's, he's a Zionist Jew. He believes in the state of Israel. He wrote the book, A Case for Israel. He's a supporter of, of the state of Israel. I watch his debate with Professor Norman Finkelstein. And what you see is you see two academics. One a professor, a political scientist. The other one a Harvard law professor, Dershowitz, right? And Dershowitz provides his evidence. Really? So... And, and, and a Professor Norman Finkelstein provides his evidence. I challenge you, any one of you, Go and watch that debate and then tell me, tell me that Alan Dershowitz is an honest and a true individual explaining as to what is happening. Finkelstein dismantles him with evidence. Right, so it's like taking evidence. the Imam of peace and claiming that he represents actual Islam for all of us. Straw man argument again. Uh, how exactly? Straw man. I'm not he saying he represents things, you. Again, he says I'm not saying he represents you. No, listen. You take a Jew that I says said, I, I, look, effect or if a Jew says to me, and you know, this is one of the things that, and I, and I, and I yeah, but and, you're and, jumping from claims. All right, let's no, no, touch my question all. because not you ignored it. You previously what, what ignored it. What did I ignore? Sorry. How many Palestinians died since 1948 by Israel? Thousands, tens of thousands. How many? Give me a number. I don't know the exact number. How many Israelis died? Probably, again, uh, 
with a very few thousand, maybe two thousand, two and a half thousand, something like that. And the Palestinians, it's like ten or twenty times more. Ten or twenty times. More. Twenty times. Twenty so times. Since more. 1948, Israel killed 30, 34,000 Palestinians, and Palestinians killed 24,000 Israelis. That's not true. That's, that's not, simply not I true. I can give you all the names of the people. No, no, come on, that's the places, the times. So okay, so the United it's Nations. U it's UN data, the, Israeli data, Palestinian human data. Human rights to disagree with you. Data. Amnesty International agree disagree with you. It's uh, collective. They all disagree with you. You know, it's, 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 it's nonsense. Sir, What's that? Sorry, it's, it's real data. It, it's shared, it, it's shared on this platform, and yeah. I'm actually Not okay. only me. What? And when that, where, 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 that that where did that data come from? I'd be very interested to oh, see oh, that. Okay. I'll give you, I'll give you, yes. an, I'll give you the, yes. the sources, and so, I also yeah. post it on my social so, media so you can see it again. But it comes from a mix of Amnesty International, okay. the UN, in particular, specifically UNRWA, all right, which has 20, 27 southern actives, or active uh, workers in all of the areas of Israel and Palestine. 27 southern out of 30,000 workers, 20, 27 out of them. 20, Wow. 27,000 out of them working uh, within Israel Palestine borders out of 30,000 So you're worldwide. saying what sorry what are the figures you're saying that 24,000 uh, Israelis, Israelis died by Palestinians, by Palestinians and how many 34,000 34,000 34, okay I will I will I will humbly go search back and check check those figures yes okay and if anyone so, here would like to search so it now, up, so, search so, it so, up. so now, let's say on the face value we accept your figures Okay. Just, just okay. Uh, to, to prove a claim, oh, because you say it's not a conflict. No, no, that's fine. That's but within fine. a conflict, with this no, no, power structure, no, no, no. But a conflict, I would accept both of us no, would no, expect no, many no, more. No, 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 no. Because a conflict is not about just how many lives are lost, right? Really? Okay, how many Palestinians have stolen how many Israeli homes since 1948? What do you mean? Most of the Palestinian homes yes. were stolen. How many Palestinians, let me ask the question again, have stolen land and homes from the Israelis? How many homes? They shouldn't, they don't need to, stole, to steal homes. They just have people in the streets many times. How extremists. many homes have they stolen from the, from the Israelis? Again, you compare, it's irrelevant to the top. So, you might not know, right? You might not all know. The Pretty much all, all the West Bank. All the West Bank, you're yeah. saying the Palestinians stole that well, from the Israelis. The, okay, hold on a second. Okay, hold on a second. And how many homes have... Let's get to the, let's get to the, let's get to the, uh, the crux yeah, of the argument. How many homes have been taken away from the Palestinians and how much land has been taken away from the Palestinian people? Because that's a marker of conflict as well. Again, you're How much? How many? You're moving against the strong. Tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, possibly. 531 villages were evacuated. 531 80, villages were evacuated. In 1948. And again, how, by way, again, and how many, how many, how many refugees? These are the numbers from 2008. Right. Well, now. The red one is injuries, the blue okay. one Look is killed. Numbers, okay, yeah. so yeah. those are the, the, the so no, you can't say it's wrong. total deaths yeah, from 2008 to 2020. Look at the numbers. Uh, yeah, 5,590 Palestinians. Now. 251 Israelis. Israel actually got okay. Look at the numbers. How high numbers okay, so what Until do we have here? Israel used to be the of the okay, so let's have a look at some of the That's figures that you quoted. Are, let's have a look at some of the figures that you've quoted, yes? Yeah. So we have. Uh, 2008. No, 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 okay, fine. I accept that you've got the Iron Dome, and therefore you're going to get. But but you know what? Not only the Iron Dome, but 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 no no but but I made a point, didn't I? What was my point? My point was that one of the concepts in the definition of a war crime is that you use disproportionate force. So let's have a look from 2008 whether Israel has used disproportionate force. It's not a so, disproportionate force. So 2008, these are injuries. 3,202 on the Palestinian side, 853 on the Israeli side. 2009. 7,460 on the, the Palestinian crisis. side, 123 on the Israeli side. The and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. So, how many times as, I, the as I said to you, how many times I, the Palestinian people were defended by the government? As I said to you. But again, compare I, the whole data, not only the numbers that fits your narrative. So, if we're talking about the disproportion right now, let's right. take the number 3,000 Palestinians versus 800 Israelis, right? right? These 800 Israelis is the people who got hurt. Many of them were saved because of the government, because of the army, the police, and all the other defending systems. From the other side, you have none of them, yes. right? So if we compare them, let's compare the whole data. So that's disproportionate force. Or one side who actually, they can attack him in the same force. So you see how ludicrous this argument has no, become I'm now? Saying, I'm saying, What he's Let saying now, no, no, but you did. But you just, no, I didn't. You just I didn't. said, I didn't. I didn't. Let me finish. the Israeli army, air force, police, 
are able to stop the damage from reaching Israel. Okay, I'll give you a, a different analogy. But I'll now he's analogy. now he's now he's claiming. But I'm not going to finish now, one sentence. No, you just jump from. No, a no, that's point. not true. You so spoke. You've probably spoken more than I have. Absolutely, sir. Come on. Okay, finish your point. I'll give you an analogy to it for mm. a second. Even if both sides would attack the same, they don't. Israel attacks stronger. I agree about that. But even if they would attack the same, right? If Israel will always attack more, well, will, will always protect more civilians, the numbers anyway will be higher from the Palestinian side. So right now Israel attacks more, not a disproportionate force, but they attack more because they're stronger anyway. Right? But also defense civilians. They do two two things. When you attack more, the Palestinian side, they do only one, which when, is only when, attacking. When you attack more. And defend your people. When you attack more. So you attack more the other so, side. So now you're not letting more, me speak, are you? Because again, I let you finish. It. I let you finish. It's when you, when you attack more, listen. that is the definition of disproportionate force. And when you defend your people. When you attack more than the other people, that is the very definition in of war, disproportionate you, in a war, force. You a this is side. my friend. It's like saying that the my friend, a, th a three-year-old so in a not, ring with Mike Tyson is not a, a war. In a, in a ring. It's a turkey it's shoot. It's like me going to a hog. It's a turkey shoot. It's a tur it's a turkey shoot. It's a turkey shoot. That's a childish. Okay. That's it's a childish not childish analogy. at all. It is. You call it a war. I call it a massacre. How a you, call, you call it a war. I call it utter humiliation. You call it a war. I call it putting your foot on a fly. A squashing a fly. It's ridiculous. 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 You, do you honestly think? Do you honestly think? Do you do you honestly think that? You know what? You know what? Do you honestly think that that statement is going to somehow? Uh, you know? Uh, no, no, no. Shake me. In any way, what? Six versus one. you know, who, when you were the strongest which, one, which, which planes, which planes, there are American, there are, there are, there are American. You know, no. they, they claim this great victory against the six six uh, Arab nations. It is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Who's supporting you militarily? Not even one American soldier fought for you. There are American Air Force pilots who have said that we were sticking the Star of David on the tail and we were bombing the Palestinians That's and bombing really the, the Arabs. Show me. Show me now. Bombing the Arabs. This is, this is American Air Force pilots Show me now. saying this. Show me now. I'm Please. not going to be able to just bring it up now. Just write it but up. But find it. Te you, te yeah, you, 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 you can all... Listen, I haven't asked you for all your references. Whenever I ask you for references, you, you haven't had any references. No, you haven't. I'll give you any references. No, you haven't, right? I will. So this, this, this great victory against the people with 30, 40 years old technology, and they were getting the technology from who? From the United That's States false. of America. You know, they're, the they're, you know, they're, 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 they're suckled by America all the way, right? In and then they're, then they're claiming, the and then they're the claiming, claiming that this great war they fought was just solely upon their own backs. No, in absolutely war, not. Until 1967, hey, wait, wait. you have been supported until, let me my words, by billions me and billions and billions of US dollars when it comes to arms, it's credit. It's the not most sophisticated money. weaponry that you could ever get. We, right? we developed right? them, not them. Yeah, now you do. Now you've Again, moved. Until to, now, you've, now you've made killing Israel was not actually uh, more efficient the than it was before. I agree until with you. Until 1967, Israel wasn't actually supported by the U.S. Israel was the underdog of the Middle East. After the war in this so, war, so so where did all your arms support. come from? Where did all your airplanes come from? You didn't make them, did all you? All over. What do you mean? Even in 48, they brought lots so, of arms. So where did all your British. arms come from? America. No, also from the America, British and from many others. Bri America, predominantly. Ameri so let's not let's not let's Until not now, most of let's the not try to most of the guns not, in the Israeli army are guns listen, from the period the, the of the argument is a simple Let one. Let me finish my word again. Until now, most of the guns in the IDF are guns that were used in World War II. Most of them, completely most of them. They were not they were not given by the Americans or anyone, right? Israel yeah, Israel sophistication in making armaments today and guns are at a level where well, we're talking about 67 at right? a level at a, le at a level at a level in 67 what israel listen, was independent it's well known that israel was was dramatically well known to someone who was, reads was, was, it was it, it, no 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 this, this is just the facts as it were it, Again, it was it's supported like, it's like to a blind supported man what looks like. supported what by britain everything. supported by israel supported by america britain upstanding the un america the how how was supported by britain so you're telling me you got no arms from america there were arms. So let's let's leave America. that then. Let's please move like on. Jet, let's they not got, pretend. They got few tanks. Jets, yeah, jets, tanks. Versus uh, six know, Arab armies. Know. Versus six Arab armies. Listen. They were also when, backed up when you, by other countries. When you listen to me, when you have the so great, the great. Can I blame now, all the? Are you going to interrupt me now? Are you going to interrupt me now? You're going to interrupt me now.
again. You said you I interrupted you. Yeah, I tried to speak. You interrupted me straight yeah, away. Yeah, forget my point afterwards. I'm just saying this because you're saying it's a violation of human of uh, international law and stuff, right? Using over force in the six-day war or the disproportionate war, force. Yes. Six different countries attacked Israel. That's completely disproportionate force. They were also backed up by 13 other countries. If you go to a very good website called If Americans Knew, they explain the catalyst of why the Arabs attacked the Israelis. Why? Explain to me. And if you look throughout history, it was because of entire towns being wiped out and many people being killed by the settlers, which prompted these wars. There were no settlers That, prompt, that prompted this, Until right? Until 1967, when I was, used, was when I used the word, Jordan, no, no When I use the word settler, I'm talking about somebody who goes in and steals somebody else's land and occupies that land. The, what I find very difficult is that despite the evidence that is available widely, that you still stand here and you defend the actions of Israel. I'm I not, find that I find that really that deplorable. deplorable. I'm saying I'm saying completely it, deplorable. But again, you put words in my mouth. I'm saying I condemn any killing of any people. I'm against any killing of any people. Any killing of any people. All right? I'm against do you the accept extremists. The Nakba, then? What do you mean? The Nakba. Accept it. Yes, do you accept the Nakba? No, I'm against explaining any people. But again, the Nakba for you is the Nakba. I recognize, of course I recognize it, because so it's suffering of people. Do you think it's a historical fact? No, but again, you ignore most of the context, no, 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 because no, no, what no. you say is Nakba... Is it an historical fact? What do you mean? The Nakba, is it an, an historical fact? Uh, there are lots of exaggerations about it, so tell me what you mean by the Nakba. Okay, so why it is denied in, in, in no, Israeli school? No, but tell me school. what Nakba means for you, and then I'll, I'll tell you if I agree with it or not. The of many villages after, after the creation of uh, Israel in 1990. Many of them also left because of the war. Why it is denied? The Jordanians in Australia. He admitted to me earlier people. that 400 villages or whatever you said, 500, 500 and something villages were forcibly emptied. Not forcibly, destroyed then some of them. Destroyed and emptied. No, no, no. Not only, not many not of them. Hold on a second. Again, so if you can actually check the journal. Hold on a second. Check the journal, for example of the minister of the Syrian minister of defense right, right from this time he also mentions right. it, yes. that he feels sorry that they encouraged the Arabs to leave mm. the land of Palestine British mandate yeah, Palestine yeah, yeah, yeah. right on the other hand you also have uh, it's also recorded mm. right no, not recorded actually I think documented to say right that the Jordanians also encouraged Arabs to move out of the land okay. and many other people also moved because okay. of the war there were also people who were ex exiled Right? The number I gave you is of villages who were destroyed. Some of them were evacuated, some of them not. So people so left you, from so you said villages, that So you destroyed. said that the Jordanians, some of the Arab nations, encouraged some of the people to leave, yes? Many of them. What about, the, what about, what about the hundreds of villages where they were forcibly removed? What about it's those? 100, it's around 180. Okay, let's, leave, around 180, let's, 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 let's even go with your figure. 190 villages. I'm against that. Forcibly removed. I'm against it, but you there was a war. You, you, right? All the Jews from the so, West Bank. Oh, hold on a second. So, I never said it's okay. Well, well, I, I hold on a second. Said you're saying, you're saying it was a war, yes? It was a war, yeah? Again. Well, no, no, you're saying it's a war, yes? In 90, again, in the no, were those, war. Were there civilians the, in those villages? Palestinians, right? Arabs were forced to... Were they, were they civilians? Can you let me finish a war? No, you have to answer the question, though. So that's part of the answer. Let what, me answer. Right, what's, that, what's right? the answer? The same way as Arabs were evacuated from their villages within all over the land of Israel during this war, also Jews were evacuated from the West Bank, right? Does that the make Jews it right? Jews, no, ever said it's right. I'm okay. against. So are you against, are you against what the brother said about the Nakba, then? I'm against... About these villages being emptied out? I'm against out. expelling people, but that's right. a consequence of a war. What do you no, expect no, 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 But were those civilians? Against expelling any people. Were they were they civilians? Were they were they army combatants? Both sides were civilians. We had what, no army back then. So, so they were civilians. So what should happen to those people? Should they get their land back? I, to me personally, I think that everyone should get compensation, yes. right? So also the Jews from the Arab countries should get their money back or the property back. You know, I advise you to watch a documentary about Morocco, about the Moroccan Jews. Yes, very interesting documentary. Yes, Mossad. Mossad, Mossad goes to. And this was the, this was the plan to get the Jews as many Jews into Israel as possible. They made this false narrative yeah. that the Arabs are all going to kill you. Really? Their people are going to destroy you. Yes. Yeah. No, no. I'll give you. An, listen. I will qualify the statement so well mm -hmm. that inshallah, if the people go away, they yeah. view it themselves. It's from Jewish testimony. Really? Okay. Jewish test. And you know what, brother? Many of those Jews today are coming back to Morocco. False. You know That's why? You know why saying. they're coming back to Morocco? That's a I met a Moroccan Jew myself, my, right? and the, I asked him. My father was born and, in, and I asked in, in him. And I, and I asked him. My father was born in Casablanca. Uh, That's fine. Let like me just talk about Jews. the one. Let no, me just talk ignore, about the one that again, I met. You, fall, you tell lies. I, oh, I'm, lie. telling, I'm telling lies now. Lie. You just ignore the whole concept of Jews. Okay. What did I lie about? Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Let me finish my word. No, no. What did I lie about? What did I lie about? 
Let him finish. What did I lie about? No, but it's a lie because no, no, what's the you lie? just ignore the whole concept. What's the lie? That's what? why I'm trying to ex again. Please let me do. Answer, otherwise, I wouldn't be able. Right. You just ignore the whole part between Jews. The love and affair. You just ignore. In Cairo, yeah? You just ignore the whole concept of Jews wishing to go back to their homeland. All the Jews of Morocco, all of them, literally all what of them. What did I lie about? Were Zionists. All of them. What the did I, what did I lie about? No, not true. Because it's not because of the Mossad. Jews what, what did I, what did I, So Israel, Mossad didn't do that? Are you saying Mossad did not do that? No. So you're saying Mossad did not go and Israel did not have a concerted effort? No, no it's not the Mossad. People oh. had the interest to help Jews to go back to their homeland. Listen to me. Jews from Morocco, so, like so my the, family, so, for so example. There was an active, so there was an active organization. No, it was people, individuals. To bring their there was, like, there was an active... My uncle, for example, came to Israel. Listen, my uncle so came to what Israel. What did I lie about? Tell me I what have, I lied about. All right, I have an uncle. He passed away when he, he was he died when he was over 80. What did I lie about? When he was about? younger, he came to the land of Israel. Okay, what did Every I lie about? Was created, and he was part of the people who tried to encourage what, people what to go there. What did I lie there. about? That it's not because of the Mossad. Jews wanted to go there. That's part of the culture. So, so you're Zionism saying, so you're saying that, so, so you're saying that, so you're saying me saying that Mossad actively went there to create a narrative so that the Jews would leave and go to no Israel is a lie. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because okay. Jews wanted to go so he, there. He's not, not he's because not, of being afraid yeah. of the So he's so claimed that that's a lie. Bus, Brothers bus. and sisters, what I'd like you to do, Jew, non-Jew, Muslim, no, no, Christian, no, no, atheist, whatever, fact, a, please fact, go and sure. research this fact. fact. Did Israel, and was there a, a lobbying, a, a, a concerted effort to go into these lands to create false flags, false narratives to encourage to encourage the Jew, the Jews to return to Israel, right? Or to go to you Israel see, you actually. Said return because you also know that it's returning home. Well look, brother you're gonna catch on one word and you're gonna smile no, as if somehow you made a no, you made up exactly you know this is not how I'm you saying. have a discussion. Yes? Exactly you, you know, when I say when I say return when I say when I say when I say return okay when I say return it's a well-known fact that the Jews were there thousands of years ago. So there's no controversial point. If I say they returned back to what they felt was their homeland, why is that controversial? What was their homeland? Well, what, what, what does that mean? Does that mean they had a legitimate right to kick the Palestinians out? It doesn't mean that. So you smiling about me saying return is, is, a, silly, is a silly way of, 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 of acting, quite frankly. Well, you, Look, you, again, see, you see, you see, well. I get two facts, yeah? Maybe it's, it's not, it's not, again, it's, it doesn't know that. Many the love and affair, 1954, Cairo, bombings, Maybe synagogues, and yes, Jewish resort. And who did this? Yes, the yes. Mossad. Yes, the Mossad. This is well known. It's been called the Susanna operation. Well known. 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 Yeah. Well known. You see, what I urge. What's your name? Sorry. Eli. Eli. Abbas. Eli. Eli. Yeah. Eliran. Eliran. Are you familiar with the Eliran. operation? Eliran. What I would advise you, see, you to do. You don't know the truth, you, you okay. as, a, as, a, as a brother in humanity, yes? When we see an injustice, we have to speak out against it. This, this, uh, and, you, you uh, and, and, until, until ordinary Jews like yourself, until, <laughs> uh, until ordinary Jews like yourself stand up and question what Israel is doing and really try to attempt to, to have peace you're never going to have peace in that area and you know the, the, we'll the, never have peace and the thing is like foreigners who are look, standing right now here this is not and dividing true the population. this is not true because you just the, see the listen you just the population the is already divided really the population there population is already when divided. i was 14 when i was 14 listen, i used to work in a factory in the west bank with palestinians and jews listen My i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying generally wait let me finish Generally, the populations they find. The problem is with the extremists on both sides. Your, Not the Zionists or the Islamists. Your argument is, is I tell you what, your anecdotal, finish, your anecdotal experience. Don't deny the your, your, your brothers, bro. Your anecdotal. I live in this land my whole life. Let I'm me just finish. I'm able to engage with both populations I in their native tongue. Your anecdotal. And you're coming from the outside your, and speaking to me about what's happening well, there. Well, I'll tell you why. Ah, no, no, that's a very good Sir, thing. That's a very, that's a very good point. But again, you just cut me off. That's a very. I have, I have let him finish. I have, I have, I have. I would love to talk to you. No, no. I, yo, no, it, let's stop it. No, no, I respect no, no. you. No, no, no. But but before you go, it's better for no, no, me to talk to my cousins. But before than you go, before it's be, not useful. Before you go, before you it's go, it's not useful. Nothing see, will change between you, us. You, you, you but want I can to talk to a cousin. You, you want to? No, no. I want to, the, the, the point here is this. I want to talk to a cousin. Yeah, yeah. But you made some points. So be fair. Let me, let me come back to those points. Your anecdotal experience of harmony between Palestinians and Jews, I'm not saying that there isn't. So it's a straw man argument. I'm not saying that all Palestinians and Jews are enemies. Or they don't work together, or they don't live together. together, or I don't. Be, I'm not saying that there aren't very good Jews who would wish for who wish for peace, who wish to give equal rights to the Palestinians. I'm not claiming that. There are good people on both sides. I agree. 
but I'm not, I'm not holding the Jewish people responsible for what happens to the Palestinian people. But the state of Israel, the government that you have there, is committing, uh, committing acts that are widely accepted by Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, Bet Selem, the United Nations, by the consensus of the global community, that this is oppression, this is theft, Okay, Both this sides. this is this is this is uh, cleansing. Both sides are being this oppressed. is cleansing of a people. When you say to me, when somebody says How to me, have been when you say years, to me, when you say years. to me that this is a war, then you lost me. You know why you've lost me? Because Mike Tyson in a ring with a three-year-old is not a war. Right, so if, if it's a, a turkey shoot at right. best. So again, again, so if it's a, a turkey shoot. Again, it's, it's like it's a false comparison. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's, a false comparison. it's an absolute perfect right, so, comparison. So an average soccer player won't go to play against Messi again, right? I mean, I, what, what sort of Messi argument is this? Messi is better. What sort of argument is this? But again, you're taking an, an, an what sort an of analogy. argument is this? You're taking all right. You're taking an analogy, right? And you compare Palestine to a three-year-old boy and Israel to like a messy person with weapons and stuff, which is false. Well, why is that false? Again, it's not comparable. You know, Israel a baby would never kill twenty. All right, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yes, we talk about we talk about threat. We talk about danger. Yes, twenty-four thousand. Is Israel, Israel is if, if Israel today wanted to destroy all of the Arab nations, all Again, of them? It's not hold on a second. No, no, but it's, many countries can do uh, it. Hold on a second. As long as you have nuclear just, power, just, just relax. Can do if it. Israel wanted to destroy that entire region single-handedly without the help of America, could it do so? I do. Could it do Iron so? Dome is not an attacking system. Iron Dome no, no. is a defending system. No, no. Uh, that's it. No, no. Could it? Yes. So Could it do so? Look, it did so. Could it do so? Don't try to make these snidey remarks. Just try to answer the question. Just answer the question. You have the capacity. You have the capacity. You have the capacity. You have the capability. So please, you know, don't give me your crocodile tears. Yes? Don't give me the crocodile tears of how you are under threat you have the capability of annihilating that whole region and now you're crying like oh we are under threat come on please 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 okay so answer my question then yes if you want to destroy the whole region single-handedly you can do so right yes or no yes or no can what you do is, so? What's the concept? I'll give you the I'll give you the uh, the, 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 the reasoning. You're not gonna get an answer because I know how you're heading. You, you don't want to give me the answer. I'll give you the answer. Yeah. So when you have the crocodile tears of playing the victim, that all these Arabs are trying to kill us and we Whatever need to do said. this, I can't. You know, it's laughable. The world is laughing. Amnesty International is laughing. Human Rights Watch is laughing. The United Nations are laughing. The global community is laughing. Okay. Because there is not this existential threat that their, their, their nation is under threat. Israel exists. Israel is more than capable, powerful, militarily, strategically, with its partners, with its, uh, you know, uh, with its uh, people, allies. It has no threat. But again, you're making a No threat. No threat. So when you claim that it's a war, no threat. That's not a war. 24,000 who are being killed on the Israeli side. And That's not what. From the Palestinian side, it is a threat. I it already is. explained to you. But again, I, I already explained to for you. For you, as an individual, a war, Let me finish my words. Otherwise, you I cannot did, talk you, to you. You have finished your words. All right. So you, 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 you just said. Now. You, you just said I'm, I'm that if finish. this figure and this figure, it's a war. I cannot finish literally you know? one sentence. Uh, you did exactly the same thing to me, but now you're crying again. You see? I'm not crying. I'm not upset. You interrupted me. You're making a monologue. You interrupted me many times. Instead of engaging. Did you interrupt? Did you interrupt me? Again, am I walking off? Because I cannot finish no. the sentence. So how can... you, 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 you cut me off many times. Huh? Huh? You, you, you cut me off. He's not an innocent bystander. I can tell you that. Ah, I know he's not innocent. Because from the very beginning, all he's been doing is supporting this guy. That's not innocent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because now he's supporting him, he's innocent, and he's balanced. Please, please, please. please. In your subjective opinion, you don't see a conflict by the amount of death. For Israel, right? If we compare the amount of people who got killed from both sides, and you see that Palestinians, 34,000 Palestinians killed, 24,000 Israelis killed, for us as a country, as people, yeah. it is a danger. For you, maybe not. Okay, so and you left about it. So let me ask you a question. Us, no, no, no. It's not such a big so difference. So let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question. If there are zero, zero the fatalities. Now because you're not no, no, because this is what you have to do something. now. No, there are people You have to do your last little line and no, you have to leave. There are people who are okay. more actually. Okay, I'll talk to the camera. You can go. Bye bye. Have a lovely day. Now, he claims. 
that, that it's about how many die here, how many die there, and that's all you look at. Now, what if there are no deaths on the Arab side and there are no deaths on the Palestinian side? Can there still be subjugation, oppression? Can there still be war crimes? Yes. Because if you take all of the land forcibly with the barrel of a gun, which is what they do, it's still a war crime. The fact that you're very clever about it and you just don't go and nuke them and just wipe them off from the face of this earth because you know that the public opinion, the global community will condemn you and hold you to account for war crimes. You don't do that. But what do you do? You strategically nibble away with a very long term plan. Go and go and see the uh, uh, go and see the maps of, of Israel since 1948. Look at the colored areas of Palestinian land and Israeli land. How does that happen? By accident? Uh, this is a war? No. If you were just going to look at how many people die and from that you equate everything, come on. This is a ridiculous way of looking at it. They are subjugated and they are oppressed. This is widely agreed. There are war crimes being committed against the Palestinian people. Widely agreed. I just find it distasteful when our Jewish uh, community uh, defend Israel or when anybody, for that matter, Christian or, or whoever you might be, atheist, you defend the oppressor in light of the, uh, in light of, uh, or instead of defending the oppressed. How is that just? How is that fair? You know, if these were white Christians living in Palestine and Israel was doing this to them, the world would not be quiet. But because they are Arab, they look brown, okay, they have a lot of Muslims in there and there's a minority of Christians in there, it's okay. Because these are the fanatic Arabs, these are the crazy Arabs. These are the crazy brown people. That's what it is. Absolutely That's what it is. Uh, what, in Israel? In Israel, in Israel, the rhetoric, the Israel rhetoric is that these Arabs are, are bloodthirsty killers. Not sure. Not, go, not go, on, you, go on YouTube, sure. look at all the social so experiments, YouTube? social experiments, so when they ask the public, what, no, I, I'm saying, that's a, I'm way, saying, I'm saying, way, I'm saying, I'm right. saying, when you look at Israeli politicians, yes. what they speak about the Palestinian people, yes. what do they say Some about them? Up. Agreed, agreed. Right.